another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen and today we're going to make some homemade pizza sauce straight from the tomato. So the first thing we're going to do is boil our water which is going. We need to blanch our tomatoes to get the skin off of them and just like I've always done you just make a little X and you can cut the little tip off and I'm not going to throw it in yet because I want to kind of have them go evenly and you got to be pretty quick with these little tomatoes. And, oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I just put that in your way. Let me move it. Um, these are San Marzano tomatoes, and I grew them in my garden, and I'm so proud. Um, my understanding is that they get way bigger than this. Um, they are a paste tomato, um, but you do not want to use tomato paste in your pizza sauce. Um, my understanding is that's a huge no-no. That's a, that's a bad touch right there. We don't do that. Um, you want to use the Roma tomato, might do in a pinch, but really if you can get your hands on some San Marzano's, that's really the way to go. Oops, I don't need that, but I want this one. So that's already boiling, and to remind you, we're going to make an X, if you haven't seen my stuff before, on the bottom of your tomato and cut the tip off. This one's, they weren't all picked at the same time, so some of them are like, hey, eat me quick, I'm going to die. Okay. Um, this one I'm going to cut kind of this whole top part off because it's looking, yeah, I just want it to be really fresh and good. And then the rest will go into mom's compost. Hi, mom. Uh, she's probably going, hi, kid. Right, mom? Did ya? I bet you she did. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm just going to process all of these in this way so that I have a batch ready to go. One thing I would urge you to do is don't go cheap on your ingredients in your pizza sauce because the tomatoes especially are what makes your sauce. Your ingredients for your pizza sauce, mm, if you can at all get away with the higher quality ingredients, I say do it. Um, I have, in addition to my garden tomatoes, I have fresh oregano and a fresh bagel, both from my garden. The only thing here that isn't from my garden is the garlic. I'm trying to grow some garlic. I had a little start and it like started to come up from the ground and it was like, oh no, thank you. I think it was just too warm when I when I put it in the soil. So I'm gonna wait for it to cool off some and try it again. I'm not a professional gardener. I'm just trying to grow some things in my own garden. I'll get there eventually. By the way, this is um, 28 ounces of tomatoes minus the little bit that I'm taking off. So it's probably gonna end up being closer to 26. So if you're buying a can of tomatoes, instead of using fresh tomatoes, which you could do, look for the ones that say San Marzano. Those are from Italy. Um, these are San Marzano's, but they obviously weren't grown in Italy. Um, I bought the seeds and planted them. Um, I can't imagine what they taste like from over there. Oh my goodness, I would, mm. Italy, I'm coming for you someday. I'm gonna come sit down in one of your pizzerias and have some pizza and it's just gonna be Heaven. Okay, these are all done. It's boiling. I'm going to put one layer. I'm not going to stack them. One layer. I'm going to let them go for about 30 seconds in this water. And it's just going to make that skin pull away from the flesh so I can quickly and easily peel it. This step is so worth it because if you try to peel them with a peeler, it's going to end up wasting quite a bit of the flesh. And you want that in your sauce. Oh, trying to flip out. I should probably use my tongs and not my fingers there. Eh? And if you're using, okay, this one's good. See this one split down the side. So I would say I could probably, yeah. And you can toss them in a bowl of cold water, which I should do, to cool them off and stop the cooking process because we don't want them to cook. So I'm gonna pull these. I'm gonna put some cold water on them and put the rest of these in here. Not necessarily in that order. So uh, let's do it this way. Plop these bad boys in here. goes in there. All right, fill in this with cold water. I'm going to start peeling these. As soon as you can touch them, look at how easy this is coming off. It's literally just peeling right off. There's a few little pieces that I have to work for a tiny bit, but that's that's perfection because the flesh is staying together, but the tomato peel is coming right off. Let's see if I can get oh, That one's stubborn. Okay. All right. It's coming. There we go. There's a good peel. Look at that. Done. 
I'm gonna flip those over in the bowl. See how quickly this goes, just by that little extra step. And the origin of this sauce is in uh, Naples. And I will tell you that the, and please don't kill me if you're from Naples or a total um, pizza lover who is a purist about it, they don't really put the garlic in. There's only one type of pizza that they put the garlic in and um, I put it in my sauce for all my pizzas because I just I love it. And I think if you're gonna make food, um, you should make it the way that you wanna eat it. If you wanna experience it the way that they make it traditionally, then by all means go ahead. But if you prefer it with your garlic, by all means, I say do it um, the way that you wanna eat it because you're the one that's enjoying your life. Um, we have a tradition in our family that we started um, pretty recently this year. Um, we needed some family time to step away from husband works, wife works, homeschooling, housework, just everything that we do in the day and really just spend some time together. We have dinner tonight, almost every night as a family. No devices um, are allowed at the table. That's our time to catch up, to be together in the busy lives that we all lead today. So that's our, our deal, but it wasn't quite enough because some days dad has to work extra hours and misses dinner. Um, it just really depends. And so Saturday night, this is where I'm going with this rambling a little bit. Saturday night, we make pizza, homemade pizza, homemade crust. Um, if it's sausage, we make our own sausage and, um, I don't make the pepperoni yet, but give me some time someday. I'll make the pepperoni. Um, we go through all that. We make our homemade pizza with our homemade sauce and our homemade sausage and our homemade dough. Sometimes I even make a sourdough crust depending on whether or not I remember to start it because I make that five full days in advance um, for the fermentation flavor. Oh, it's amazing, but it, you gotta remember to make it five days ahead. So I think that's all my tomatoes. Let me just check. Yes, I am good. But that's what we do. And then we have a movie on Saturday night. So that's our tradition. So this sauce is for family pizza night. I'm just going to kind of quarter these up over the pot. You might even be able to tear them. So I'm just doing a little pre-mash to get the ones squished down that I can get squished down. And then while these cook, there we go. While these cook, I'm gonna prep my um, oregano and my basil. Um, and all you do is just tear it into pieces. However, whatever size that you want. You could chop them. Um, and I think they just tear them. I don't know, would somebody send me to Italy so I can find out? I mean, the internet couldn't possibly have the answer to that. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to try, guys, I'm just saying. I love to travel, and I am so itching to go somewhere out of the country to experience cultures um, how they live, what kind of foods do they eat, um, and just go. Okay, I'm gonna smash this down a little more, and I'm doing it slowly, because if I do it fast, it's probably gonna splatter all over the place. All right, back to this. So, down in the comments, What's your favorite pizza? Margarita, pepperoni, meat lover's pizza, veggie pizza? Do you eat pizza? You can make a vegetarian pizza, a vegan pizza. All of that's possible. And for the oregano, I am gonna chop it a little bit because it's fresh and I want smaller pieces of that than I do the basil. So that's why I have this big knife out. It's just for that purpose. I'm gonna dry it a little. I splattered some tomato on it. I'm just gonna group it together and chop it down. There. All right, our garlic, we're gonna press our garlic, so I'm not gonna do that yet. I have fresh oregano, fresh basil, fresh garlic, quality olive oil. I'm gonna try and tip this. I should get my glove and kind of show you the consistency that we're looking at right now because it is definitely changing. And I'm gonna turn this down I still want it to continue. So this is where we're at with it. It's it's starting to break down, which is perfect to what I want. Um, and it's going to continue to turn into a sauce. Some of the water is going to evaporate out of there. Um, and a lot of that water is from the tomato, a little bit from my draining it. I didn't drain it very well, which is fine, because it'll break down anyway. 
And I'm just gonna heat, take in my potato masher, push down and swirl it so that it breaks down what's underneath it. And I'm gonna do that every couple of minutes until I'm, I'm happy with the consistency. Now, if at that point I'm still not happy with it, I'll go ahead and get out like the hand um, blender and just kind of mix it down a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead at this point and put in my herbs and my salt and my garlic. I'm gonna crush it and put it in there. And if I have any left after making pizzas for the family, I will freeze it. It's only good for two or three days. And by good, I mean it's only fresh and super delicious for a few days. So if you're not gonna use it all, go ahead and freeze what you're not using um, and use it the next time. My pizza sauce is ready to come out of the pot. I'm gonna pour it into this bowl and let you see what it looks like. It's beautiful. Now, if you don't like your sauce thin, you can let it cook down a little bit more. Just get all of that goodness right on in there. So next, I am going to take my olive oil and pour it in there, and then just stir it in. And once that's done, my pizza sauce is ready to go on my pizzas. All right. Oh, that's gonna make some great pizza, which I'm gonna make for you pretty soon, I promise. All right, I am happy with this. I'm not gonna change a single thing. It's so beautiful, the flavor that comes from the fresh tomatoes. I'm spoiled with this. I don't know if I can go back. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and share the video with your friends. Tell them all about the homemade pizza sauce. <laughs> from my kitchen to yours, let's make food from food. That's one bowl.